Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Year of Predictions. Tarot and Oracle card reading for 2024. This is a reading for all Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to jump right into it. What advice do you have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the year ahead. What does Aquarius need to know about the year of 2024 guidance for Aquarius. All right, we are going to go month by month and we will draw three of the shadow cards for clarifiers and we're going to pull an oracle card. And if you don't mind hitting that like button, I sure appreciate it. That way people will see this, especially because it's on a Tuesday. All right, you have January, the eight of wands, February, the two of wands, March, first time I've seen this in all of these readings, the Wheel of Fortune, April, the Six of Wands, May, the King of Wands, June, the Moon. I like this a lot. July brings in the Chariot. You've got the star, you and your own energy, in August into September, the Three of Pentacles, October, the Queen of Cups, November, the Seven of Swords, not too worried about that. And December brings in the Hierophant. What a lovely, lovely year ahead. I would be very eager to get started if I were you. So the bottom three, these shadow cards, we have Death, the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. So we now have two kings, a queen. We have Aquarius, Cancer, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio is here, Pisces is here. Did I miss anyone? I hope not. We have quite a bit of fire. We have water, air, and earth, so all the elements. Now, I mentioned this is also an oracle card reading. We're going to take a moonology to bring in the theme for the year for Aquarius. I love this reading. There's something about the card itself. The picture looks so rich and velvety. It almost looks like velour or velvet. New moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. So if you've been going through a difficult period or a chapter or 2023 wasn't what you wanted, dreamed, or expected, all will be well, okay? You have many opportunities. Now you get off to a high, hot start right here in January with this Eight of Wands. I feel like you're going to have a turning point in your career or work life. Now if this is the year that you've decided to put yourself out there a little bit, start a social media chapter in terms of making a bit of a, a passive income or even if it's not quite passive I guess it depends on what you're uploading um, but I do feel like it's going to bring in money if it's anything that can be monetized the only thing I feel like they're telling you is that you got to keep your focus because with that seven of cups it can kind of put you all over the place but the king of pentacles is definitely a card of wealth attainment so you have good news about money I right at the beginning of the year now, if you're looking to move, I see you getting even more information into February, or there may be something that just begins here that gives you the inclination. You start to get online, you start looking at Zillow, thinking, you know, I never thought about that. It just never occurred to me. And the next thing you know, we're talking March and you're moving. Now, in terms of love, you have great aspects for love here because we know these are the arrows of love. I feel like it goes all the way through the year. In December, you even have a wedding. So, I mean, this could get serious very, very quickly and be moving in together by, we're talking March or April, and I'm not kidding. The cards don't lie. What is meant for you will not miss you. So I definitely see you as getting off to a hot start. This is expect change, expect the unexpected. But the wands are fiery. They're expansive. They're evolution. They bring gains. There's no downside. The wands are about the upwardly mobile. So whatever this is for you, it's going to bring in gains. Now with this in February, you have here the two of wands and you also have the garden of the magician right there. You are manifesting here. Twos are about partnerships. So if you're looking to make a change, I feel like this is you standing there. The card of the visionary who... He holds the world in his hand, but he wants a bigger world. So you might find that February is a bit of a time of more research where you're looking, you're trying to figure out where do I go next with this? Maybe you're brushing up your resume, you're sending some things out. I've noticed now I do a little bit of hiring at my job. I've noticed that people are asking for sort of quirky details. And even my daughter who's in business, they asked for something like that. And she put on her resume that she 
won a pie eating contest. They loved it. I interviewed somebody that wrote about their parallel parking skills and we don't do anything with driving, okay? We're talking about uh, clinical work. So I feel like if that's for you and you're, you're boning up on some things with your resume, getting yourself prepared, or even if you're planning a move, I feel like, or God, putting yourself on a dating app, I don't care what it is. This is where you, you make the plans, but you take the action. So if you are planning a move, you might find that you get that instinct to start cleaning things out. You start purging. You go, I don't know why, but I can't fight this feeling. What's a, is that uh, air supply? I can't fight this feeling. Anyway, into March, you got the one of the lottery tickets of the tarot. I'm telling you what, when you have death, death is like an exhilarating new beginning here. It is a fantastic card in this reading. So you're, I feel like this is going to be your year. You are an outside-of-the-box thinker to begin with. And so this is that year where you're going to take that leap of faith and it's going to move forward. Your ships are coming in right here, right now. Now with the Wheel of Fortune, this portal, this wheel is the, the wheel of life is a portal into the divine. And so meditate, quiet the mind, get into that place of spiritual connection. And the next thing you know, it's you're going to find that it's things left and right. I get on streaks that, my, that way myself, where all of a sudden it, somebody hands me a $15 off coupon or I win something. I've won, God, in the last month, $500 just randomly. Drawings I didn't even know I was entered in. So I feel like you're going to be in that kind of energy where you go, what the hell? I don't know how this is happening, but let's keep it up. And so just know that here, this is where you start to meet new people who are going to be important. This is also in terms of love. If you don't meet somebody in January, March is another great, great month to meet somebody. And it's somebody who is going to rock your world. And I mean that in a very positive way. This is somebody that is a turning point for you. Somebody that's going to be pivotal in your life, Aquarius. So if you're single, I don't see you staying that way. This is also one of those very layered cards with all these characters. They're very important in the tarot. And so they symbolize loyalty, but they also, this is also a card where it is when to let go and when to hold on. And I feel like you're going to embrace change here big time. And so with the Wheel of Fortune, this is where life is going to get busy again. And it's all for the good. It's exciting. It's also a card of promotion. And I see that into April as well. So for some of you, you may have some kind of announcement or shift at work. Again, if you're trying to move, this would be a great time to do it where things will go quickly. All of a sudden, it's like you're in a new place before you can even blink. So into April, uh, all eyes are on you. You've got the crown. You wear the crown of the wreath of victory. You have great support here and things are moving forward. So if you are doing something on social media, you're going to be busy, but it's going to be lucrative. And so with this six of wands, all eyes are on you. Now, in terms of a relationship, you have somebody here coming in who's quite stable themselves, I feel, with this. But I feel like, too, this might be part of the busyness of your life where things start to pick up for you financially. But then you also have to balance a relationship. If you're already in a relationship, again, this is just going to go along throughout the whole year. It is fantastic. I don't see any pitfalls. The only thing is maybe a little bit in um, November, but I just don't feel like that's a huge player here. It's nothing you need to like start bracing yourself about. So with the six of wands, so expect your life to expand. If you're any kind of a writer or you do anything in terms of communications or you do your journalist or something like that, I, do, I feel like you could win an award. Something that you do is going to win an award here. So get ready for that because with this, it's a great card in love and career. It is a card of true success. It's reciprocity. So what you give out is matched. And so into May here, you have another king showing up, the king of wands. Again, it's a card of leadership. So I definitely feel like this is going to be your year to step out and lead the charge, whether you want to or not. Um, but I do feel like people are going to find you quite charming. They're going to find you easy to work with. If you do something in sales, again, or something where you're in the service industry, people are going to find you very easy to work with, and they're going to enjoy your personality a great deal. Now, with this King of Wands, if you do any kind of coaching or training, you're going to feel like you almost have followers. But the only difference between you and something that we'd compare to like a cult is people can leave. These people choose not to. 
They're with you because they love you and you have something to offer. And that's one of the biggest keys when we talk about manifesting money. When it can be of service to somebody else, it'll come into you like nobody's business. So with this King of Wands in terms of relationships, like I said, you have great loyalty, almost to the point where I keep hearing their followers. And so into the month of June here, the moon comes in. You take one step, the universe takes two. Now, I actually like the moon with the, the energy of death here because if we talked about new cycles. That's what this indicates, a new phase where things move forward, where information is known. It's also, too, telling you you're going to be highly psychic. So trust your intuition. Listen to your dreams. If you're finding that you're having dreams that seem to be urging you in a direction, I'd pay attention to those. So with the moon energy, you also have this pool of consciousness here. And so they are telling you that the universe is plotting your path to happiness. There's more going on behind the scenes than you might even realize here. Now you have great aspects for travel over the summer. And even like we said, there's a move here for somebody. So I do feel like if you are traveling with this energy of the moon, if you're going to somewhere that's historic in nature, I feel like it's going to be moving even on a spiritual level, like where you stand and you say, somebody stood in this exact spot hundreds of years ago, and you'll be feeling their their vibration, their energy, and especially too, if there's a situation where um, you visit like an area where people have passed over. I feel like you might be the only person in the room that can see people who aren't actually there. I'm just telling you what I get. I've had that happen to me before, and it is a bit eerie. So, But, of course, we know it's energy. That's all. You're just in tune. And I'd say, too, if that happens, embrace it. Because that means the veil is thin, and you're really feeling things. You're really seeing things. You are in tune. So we get into July with the chariot. This is a great time for travel. Like we said, Law of Attraction Energy. It's a fantastic card of victory, success, attainment. With the chariot, though, you are driven to success. So anything new that you start this year, it's going to be making money. I'll tell you that. And in terms of moving, though, this is a card of great success. So if you are trying to move, it, I feel like it goes off without a hitch. The best times to move, I feel like, are the beginning of the year, but then you also have it again here. July and August are really nice, too. Now, in terms of a relationship, this is somebody who's quite a committed partner. It could be a cancer energy, but it also, too, is somebody who is quite successful themselves. So I feel like, too, if you are doing something that's a bit out of the box, like we talked about, maybe it is something on social media, they're not going to poo-poo you. They're not going to try to put it down. And truthfully, I feel like they're going to have great respect. They won't, if you don't want to talk about it, they won't push and ask a bunch of questions. There's nothing more annoying than when you try to set a boundary and the person keeps pushing against it. It's like, hello, codependent, no more, no thank you. So with the energy in August, the energy of the star, you're going to have great companionship here. Again, I just don't see any downside to this year. It's going to be great. With the star energy, though, again, this is wish fulfillment. So if your dream is to even sell a house and be free of that and kind of travel around for a bit, you're going to have it. If it's your dream to actually get a house, then here it is, too. But with this, it's an energy of more. There's no nothing with this that would say hit the brakes even. It's like you're going to find that this is a magical time. And so with the energy of the, the star here, it's a vibrant energy. The number seven, eight are important here. But I feel like, and especially with the seven and eight month right here, um, I do feel like with this energy of the star, you're really going to be feeling your own energy here in those summer months. And if you work in healthcare too, I feel like you may get a promotion to supervising other people. So even if they downsize and you go, oh crap, I'm going to have to absorb somebody's job. This is not looking good. We have a, a merger of multiple healthcare facilities. I do feel like you're going to come up on top. And I also feel like people are going to want to work for you. So they're going to say, oh, I'm so glad it was you, that you're the one that got the promotion. So in uh, September here, this is also a great month for moving. I'm telling you what. This is a card of an architect, okay, making plans for the future. So with a relationship, if the two of you do decide to move in together, you're going to feel like more the most financially independent and free you've ever felt. And this is a card, too, where you really get along great. It's teamwork. It's harmony. It's collaboration. So any information you need, you are going to attract all the right people. 
Now we talked about the intuition, but the Queen of Cups also says you need to have some self-care in the mix here, Aquarius. With this Queen of Cups, your, your energy is very sensitive. Now, this is in the month of October, but I also feel like, too, with this energy of the card of death, it is really being like acutely aware of people around you. And so if there's somebody that comes into your awareness or even somebody in your life right now that you have some doubts about, I feel like you may put them in a different pocket of your life. You, it doesn't mean that you will excommunicate them, but I just don't feel like they're going to be as close as maybe they once were, or you won't be as accessible to them. So with this too, if you have aging parents, and it's been a bit of a burden on you. I hate to even say that because it's it's just difficult. Um, but I do feel like you may have somebody who comes in that helps you to take care of them. And it could be some a sibling or somebody else in your family. And I know that's a long ways away and you're going, oh my God, I have to wait until October for that. But I do feel like too, the tarot is not an exact match in terms of months and, and dates. It's not as specific as astrology. So just keep that in mind. Now, with the Seven of Swords, I feel like with all this energy around you, they are telling you not to do anything too impulsive and to watch for locking your doors, keeping minding your stuff. Again, this may not be all the way off in November. It could even be sooner with the energies of all this movement. I feel like it shows up for a reason. But with the Hierophant, you have another trust all will be well. This rounds out the year. I mentioned before it's a wedding. But I also get it too as you being a teacher a teacher to others. You're going to be prominent, respected this year. And I feel like it really suits you. So let's see now. We've already shuffled these. What else the Whispers of Love wants to tell you? Forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointment. So I definitely feel like this will be a year of gains for you. And this is from the Fortune Oracle. You've got the sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. It's going to be a great year, Aquarius. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.